Howdy, y'all. It's uh, General Heat here. How's everyone doing today? <laughs> uh, well, for today, I have a pretty interesting uh, glitch to show you guys, and this is thanks to a tip from uh, someone named Jace. I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, um, but they uh, mentioned that they found a little glitch where they that let them uh, get a civilian to hold a gravity hammer, but they weren't quite sure how to reproduce it. So they uh, they told me like what what they found so far, what they've done, and you know I played around with it and finally figured out how to uh, reproduce the glitch. So what you see here is, um, I was, well at first I was trying to see uh, what weapons the civilians can hold and what they can't hold. And it seems like they could pretty much hold all the UNSC weapons and most of the Covenant weapons as well. Such as, you know, all the rocket launchers and carbines and spikers. But they cannot hold gravity hammers, energy swords, or brute shots. And sentinel beams, but that's uh that's not testable in this mission but anyways normally you cannot get them to pick up these weapons nor can you swap with them but with a very uh, simple glitch here you can swap <laughs> uh, like a gravity hammer with them or one of the other weapons and you can pretty much see what happens if you do so in this case we gave the civilian a gravity hammer and the way he responds is, well, I mean, he can run around with it for a little bit, but other than that, his AI doesn't really know how to use a gravity hammer. And the same thing applies for the energy sword, which we'll test in a moment. We just gotta wait to get it from the Arbiter. Uh, and we actually get it from the Arbiter in a very funny way. But they basically just stand still with these weapons. And I call them invalid weapons because they're not, they're invalid for uh, civilians to use, which is why they normally can't use it. So, we have the energy sword now, so let's get on with testing that out. So, all we gotta do is just swap the hammer for the energy sword. And, there you have it. I mean, once they already have an invalid weapon, you can give them any other invalid weapon. But, before you do the glitch, you can only give them an invalid weapon uh, if you do the glitch correctly. And it's not too hard to do, Just it's just a few simple steps to do, and somewhat uh, important for the timing. Now, even though uh, their AIs can't handle these weapons, once you, like, take the weapons back and give them, like, a, re a regular one that they're supposed to be able to use, then they just revert to a regular um, civilian AI. So, that was the uh, gravity hammer and the energy sword. Now, let me explain to you exactly how to do it. So, what you want to do is, on this part of the mission, the storm, and as far as I know, this only works on this mission, the storm. Technically, you could work on any mission. It's the same method, but it's a lot harder to reproduce on other missions. But what you want to do is you want to save as many civilians as possible, and actually just as many AI as uh, in general. And here you want to shoot the fusion coils before the civilians spawn, so that all of them survive and the hunters don't shoot them. And then you want to take the hunters out just to save them. Uh, you don't have to take the hunters out. In fact, if you don't take them out, it actually does make this slightly easier, as long as the civilians don't die. But after that, you're pretty much good to go. Um, depending on what, what weapon you want to swap with them, you do have to be a little quick. Because what you're doing here is kind of like a mini overload glitch. You are saving a lot of civilians, a lot of AIs, to the point where it causes the mission to slightly overload and causes a few glitches like things despawning, like that grabby hammer that I tried to pick up earlier. Uh, but other things will glitch out, like, like whatever prevents the uh, civilians from holding these invalid weapons. So, once you have enough AIs close together, then that is when you will have the ability to swap any weapon with uh, the pistols that the civilians are holding. In this case, the gravity hammer. Now, not only can they not use these invalid weapons most of the time, but they also don't have the right uh, animations, or even physics in some cases. Like, in the case of this marine here, he got... Uh, launched a little bit by a grenade, and instead of landing on a, on his feet on the ground, uh, he just like floats in midair. And I guess in this case, his gravity hammer is acting as like an anti-gravity hammer, which is actually pretty cool uh, if you think about it. It'd be a pretty cool concept to, ha to have an anti-gravity hammer that lets you like float and fly around. And uh, another thing, even if you do start betraying a lot of allies, and when they all turn against you, these uh, civilians holding the invalid weapons will not turn against you. 
Now, I also don't know if uh, this works on Marines. I would assume it does, but I didn't, I didn't really notice if I could swap these invalid weapons with Marines. But the civilians, they can, all, they can hold the same weapons as Marines, and, and they can't hold the same weapons as Marines as well. Oh, and another cool thing is, um, if you, like I said, their animations are glitched. So if you like shoot them, it puts them in like, the weird poses sometimes. And in this case, a spike grenade near this civilian caused him to uh, go into a T-pose with this uh, hammer. Uh, he, he can still budge um, and move around and talk, but you know he just gets frozen in his pose until you like cause him to do another animation like shooting him. Now the next weapon we're going to test is the Brute Shot. And same thing, just uh, destroy the fusion coils before the civilians spawn. And like I said, the only reason why you want to save them is just so you have like a lot of AIs together at once. And that'll cause the mission to start overloading a little bit. So I think we've got enough AIs around. Let's uh, try to swap the Brute Shot with them. I'm having a, little, a few difficulties here swapping because it's like there's so many AIs and they're all like running around and like being blasted and attacked by enemy AIs. So because they're not standing still, it's kind of hard to like swap with them. And there's also like a few other weapons on the ground. But as you can see, there's a few of them I can swap with. And sometimes, like depending on like how much the mission's overloaded, you might be able to swap with a few of them or all of them even. But a lot of other times, it might just be barely over overloaded enough that you can only swap with one of them. Now, as for the Brute Shot, the civilians actually can somewhat use them. However, they still don't have the right animations for them. So as you can see here, this uh, civilian fired the Brute Shot, but he was facing a different direction. Uh, so he basically fired the Brute Shot the opposite direction that he was facing and pointing the Brute Shot. Which is actually kind of weird, but... Um, that's basically how, how it is because they don't have the right poses and animations to use the brute shot because they're not meant to hold the brute shot, hence why it's an invalid weapon. Now, um, with the sentinel beam, I would have tested it on this mission, but there are no sentinel beams on this mission. Um, only on uh, The only missions with sentinel beams and human AIs are the arc and technically Halo with Johnson and I'm not sure if there's Sentinel Beams on Covenant but um, couldn't test it on this mission now with the Brute Shot this, the interesting thing is like if you shoot him once it puts the civilian to like a different pose and like causes them to like go almost Rambo with the Brute Shot <laughs> he just slides around and starts firing it pretty quickly and charging on the enemies but then after a little bit he just reverts back to the scared civilian AI and just like runs away um, and same thing goes back into his pose until you uh, cause him to change animations again. Now, anyways, with the Sentinel Beam, I, I know I could have probably modded the Sentinel Beam onto this mission and tested it out, but it, I didn't think it was worth it. Um, it the results would probably be the same. You, you probably would be able to swap with the civilians, and they would just probably hold it weird, and most likely it would be like the Brute Shot where they could fire it, but just at a different direction. But I didn't think it was worth it to show it. But if you guys really do want to see... Uh, civilians holding sentinel beams just uh, let me know in the comments and maybe for a future video i'll try it out but other than that i hope you guys did enjoy this and find this to be interesting uh like i said it's a pretty easy glitch to do um uh, and you can get some pretty cool results with this but yeah if you did enjoy this make sure to leave a like and leave your thoughts in the comments and anything else you want me to check out or try out just uh let me know and other than that make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and also click the little notification button next to that so you can stay up to date with our latest videos but other than that, I will see you guys next time.